United States has launched attacks against more than 85 Iran-backed targets in Iraq and Syria. The first retaliatory strikes for the killing of three American service members, according to U.S. Central Command. Biden administration officials have promised a multi-tiered and sustained response, while also stressing they do not seek a wider war with Iran. An Iranian-backed militia group claimed responsibility for the drone attack on a U.S. military military base in Jordan that killed Army Reserve Sergeants Kennedy Sanders, William Rivers, and Brianna Moffitt. News of the U.S. strikes came just hours after President Biden and the First Lady received the fallen soldiers' remains as they returned to U.S. soil. The president meeting privately with the soldiers' families. On Thursday, he publicly honored their memory. They risked it all and will never forget the sacrifices and service to our country. Sergeant Sanders and Moffitt, who were only in their 20s, were promoted posthumously. Their parents spoke this week about their heartbreak. We wasn't there for her, you know, but she, she knew that we loved her so much. And their deep pride. She gave the ultimate sacrifice. Um, she is a hero. A day of mourning in the U.S., underscoring the stakes in the Middle East, rocked by conflict and simmering tensions. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News.